Hello everyone, over here I have the newest update for Solidify Plus. So if we were to compare the standard Blender Solidify, you can see that the UVs for the rim part are stretched. And in the newest update, you can see that over here we have this nice uh, UVs expansion for the rim part of the mesh. And for this, we have this UV panel over here where we can control the value for the expansion of the UVs. And it is important that the UV map name is the same as in the mesh data. And then uh, we have the checkbox for preview in 3D. So we can see our UVs in the 3D viewport like so. And if we were to take a closer look, you can see that the uh, rim UVs are split along the corners. And for this, we have some uh, special options. So we can choose between concave, convex, uh, none, or we can choose between angle, threshold, or vertex crease, which work exactly the same as for the crease and bevel options. And then finally, we have the option to offset the UVs, and we can offset by one or two tiles, and we can select it for the inner, outer, or rim part of the mesh. And now, if we were to see it in action in one of the use cases, we have a shirt over here. Let's apply the checker texture onto it. And now if we apply the Solidify Plus modifier, uh, for this we want a negative value for the thickness, so the uh, outer details uh, stay unchanged. And something like this will work. And now if we take a closer look at the sleeve, for example, you can see those nice rim UVs over there. And once again, we can control um, the expansion of those UVs in this part of the mesh. And also, uh, once again, we can preview it in the 3D. Uh, let me actually um, apply the rotation for the object. And now that it lays flat on the floor, we can take a closer look at our UVs. So once again, we have those nice rim UVs over here and we have those controls for where the splitting happens. So we can set it to none. Uh, convex is the default value for it. Uh, I think most convenient. Uh, then there is the all option if need be. And once again, we can also separate uh, the outer, inner and rim parts by the UV tiles with those settings over there. And then another addition is the change to the inset and the push features. So over there we have this new drop down menu where we can change the type of the value between the absolute and the proportional to thickness. So right now it's at the absolute and you can see that when I change the thickness, the push value stays the same. However, if I change it to proportional to thickness and if I adjust it right now, when I change the thickness, you can see that the push value also changes, keeping this roundness of the rim. And then we have the same settings for the inset. So right now it's set to proportional to thickness. And you can see that when I change the thickness, uh, the angle created by this inset stays the same. However, when I change it to absolute, right now you can see that the value of the inset stays the same, but the angle changes. And those new features for the inset will be available also in the free version of Solidify Plus. And then finally, important bug fix. So on the left, we have the previous version of Solidify Plus, and you can see that the even thickness didn't work for those uh, corners. Now it is fixed. So the even thickness will work for all types of meshes. And if we actually were to uh, see the improvements of the even thickness, we can compare it to the original Blender Solidify. So if I um, add Solidify to the Suzanne on the left, and uh, let's adjust the thickness a little bit, and let's apply the Solidify Plus to the Suzanne on the right. And over there, if I choose the even thickness, and if I choose the even thickness in the Blender's Solidify, you can see that unfortunately the mesh is going crazy. And in the Solidify Plus, uh, everything works properly. So this sums up the presentation for Solidify 1.2. This tool is available on Gumroad and on Superhive. And as always, I hope you will find this tool useful. Thank you for watching.